There are all sorts of reasons why practicing may feel stressful or full of expectation or just not all that great. And in today's video, I want to offer some ideas for little external things, little systems you can put in place to help ensure not only a good practice session, but also a practice session that feels good. Let's get into it. My first tip is just to create a nice practice space because who wants to spend a good chunk of time with a whole lot of invested energy in a space that they don't like? So for you, this could be as simple as just being in a space that you know is relatively private or quiet. I personally really prefer being in a clean and minimal space. I don't like having a lot of visual clutter around me. I also personally really don't like facing a wall, so I always make sure to pull my chair or my stand over to this, I have a great view, um, a little window, it's not, li it's not little actually, <laughs> a big window I have so that I feel open, I can look out, and I don't feel boxed in. I also usually also start my practice session with some sort of nice little gesture for myself, which brings me to my next point, start with a ritual. Make yourself a cup of tea or an extra cup of coffee or light a candle. Just something that serves as a little bit of nourishment for yourself, which can help recenter your internal state and act as a cue for the start of a chunk of time that's going to be intentional and dedicated. Speaking of time, I think it's a great idea to either give yourself a goal or sort of a time limit for your practice. I always set a timer at the beginning of my practice. I think this serves a whole bunch of purposes. One is just that by turning the on button, it's like I'm saying to myself, this is dedicated time. While this timer is running, I'm not going to do anything that isn't violin related. I also really like to use the timer to keep track of what my attention patterns are, and I find that basically right around 40 minutes, I'm checking my phone to see how long I've gone. So I've kind of learned that 40 minute uh, practice sessions are what work well for me. And at that point, I usually give myself a break. Okay, so other than setting a timer on your phone, I would really recommend putting your phone somewhere away from you or at least putting it on airplane mode because our phones are seriously so distracting. I think they've even done studies which prove that even just having your phone next to you and noticing it is enough to distract you from whatever it was you were focusing on. And this is special time. I'm tempted to use the word sacred just because I like that word. Um, it's, it's time that you've devoted to this craft, this thing that you care about, that you love or are at least working on loving. So it, I think it's very important to do what you can to minimize those distractions so that you can give your best and fullest attention to this special thing. Now, you can take or leave this last one, but I'm gonna put it out there because I believe in it, which is to consider starting your practice session with some sort of short meditation or maybe just a short cycle of breaths. It doesn't have to take long. You can just breathe deeply a few times while you're standing or sitting before you play those first few notes. It's a way of centering yourself and bringing yourself into the present and checking in acknowledging whatever commotion is going on up there so that you can give yourself a chance, at least a chance, to sort of reset and recenter before you begin. And I only even bring this up because I came upon meditation almost kind of by accident and not because of anything violin related. I was using it as a way of helping me deal with other things in life and I found as a total byproduct that um, it was so effective and helpful to my mental approach to playing and practicing in a way that I totally did not expect. So this video is all about creating a feel-good practice session and if taking a few short breaths before you start playing can help you have an experience that feels good, then I want to offer that to you. 
So no pressure, take it or leave it. It worked for me, it could work for you. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today as I talk about these feel-good uh, little tips. Um, the feel-good stuff is one of the main reasons that I started this whole channel. It's one of my missions to provide tools that help us feel better about our playing and our practicing because it can be hard whether it's something that you know you're taking very seriously or just whether it's something you care about and want to do well at. So um, if you would like more of this feel-good content, let me know in the comments and I will look forward to making lots more. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.